Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bedland Survival. And I'm like super excited right now. I've been looking forward to doing this for a couple of days now. I recently designed a um, gravity block generator that I did a tutorial on. And we're actually going to be building it here on the realm today. So let's go ahead and also I've been over here at the uh, the nether hub and I've been cleaning things up, making everything look nice. Um, I got pretty much the centerpiece done. This is pretty much what it's going to look like. I still have to do the top of it. It's going to be um, just going to have some dark oak up top. It's kind of like a little roof section for it. And there's going to be a lot of other stuff that we're going to be doing in this episode over here at the nether hub as well. But uh, let's go ahead and head over to the end because that's where we're going to be building the uh, gravity block generator. So let's go ahead and head over there and start building it. Um, I have all of the bedrock broken out already. So it's pretty much just placing blocks in the redstone and the redstone is like super simple. And the gravity block generator is absolutely insane. Um, I did a 30 minute test on it and Pretty much it's going to produce about 45,000 drops per hour. And it also works with sand, gravel, and colored concrete, which is super awesome as well. But um, yeah, we're going to be building it over here in the end. And it's just a, it just uses the end portal. It's not even like a custom thing where you use actual end tiles or anything like that. This is just going to use the central area over here in order to duplicate sand and gravel and whatnot. But uh, first things first, before I start, I actually have to tear this entire section down and get ready to rebuild it because the timing mechanism for this is not working the way I planned. So we gotta get rid of all of this and make some room. So let me go ahead and clear all of this out and then I'll come back to you. All right, now that everything is clear, it's time to get the redstone chest out. So let's go ahead and grab that because we are going to be doing a little bit of redstone work and stuff over here. So the first thing I want to do is get the timer in. And that's going to be built right here. And let me see, let me make sure I am doing this correctly. I mean, that looks right. And then... Okay, yeah, this goes here. And of course, I don't have the other piece of sand, do I? Oh no, of course I don't have any sand with me. Um, let's see, so we're going to need repeaters. And then I'm going to need one redstone torch. We're going to need a bunch of redstone dust. going to need a bunch more pistons. Let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else? I honestly think that's about it, yeah. Everything else I've already done. Alright, so let's go ahead. I'm going to get a repeater here on two ticks. And a repeater here on two ticks as well. And then I'm going to get a redstone torch and place it there. Oh, I know what I forgot. I need to get the sticky piston. And that's going to go right down in that hole right there. Oh, I have it on me. Okay, that works. Um... So the sticky piston is going to go here, and that's going to have a block on its face like this. And then this comes out like that. So when that gets pushed up, and then that connects to the redstone here. And then there's going to be... Okay, I remember how to do it now. So there's going to be a redstone dust right there. And then that's going to go into another repeater set on two ticks delay and then this is going to go across there like that and that's where the actual redstone is going to go for the top pistons right like that and then this is going to come this direction so let's block that off and this comes out this direction I need to leave this open because this redstone dust comes to here going to be a block here and a repeater set on one tick then the redstone dust comes across here and it comes to right here 
Then there's going to be a repeater on one tick into a block. And then that continues down to this side. Same story. And this is the last repeater. So then we just need to carry the redstone dust to these. And that is the bottom pistons all hooked up. Now it's time to do the top pistons. So this is going to come this direction. It's going to be a repeater here and a block here. And then this can get closed up. I like that. And also all of this can get closed up as well. So when I get through with this, all of the redstone is going to be hidden. And that's how I like to do my redstone. I like making it invisible. Um, Alright, so that's going to come out to here. And then this comes this direction. I guess I could leave that there. That comes to here. So we're going to have the redstone dust is going to circle around. And this redstone dust on the top is not where it needs to go. It needs to go on the back side. Like this. And this is going to come across right to here. All of this can get filled in. I'm going to need more blocks. So let's go ahead and grab our stone box out. Let's go ahead and grab three stacks. All right, let's see. Gonna come this direction. Okay, so the pistons need to get put in place right there. Grab some pistons. Place these guys in like that. And then this redstone can be closed off right here. Get a repeater on one tick. So that's one tick, that's one tick. Redstone dust goes around. To here. Then we'll get another row of blocks in right here. Get the repeaters, or not the repeaters, the pistons in. Then let's go ahead and close this off. One more repeater, redstone dust right to here. And that is everything done, actually, surprisingly enough, except for that one piece of sand that's supposed to go there. Um, this all can get closed off now. So, let's go ahead. I do need to add a lever in. Right there. So, let's go ahead and break this block out. That's going to go there like that. Hmm. Right, so that's where the lever is going to go. Right, so this can all get closed off right here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the last of the decorations. I got everything in place. And I must say, this thing looks super cool. Like, I've never really played around with the uh, the end crystals for decorations. But um, you can place them pretty much everywhere. Um, only in the end will they have that fire underneath them. But that looks super awesome. Especially like it w it's kind of circling this central portal. The only thing I don't really care for is the way this is right here. 
I was thinking about bringing something up, maybe like having some blocks right here that go up a little ways, but that would block off a lot of the, uh, the entrance and everything, and I think it looks nice the way it is. I'm just like, there's kind of limited on what I can do. But anyways, we have, uh, this is the lever for the machine, so if I flick this lever, everything should be functioning perfectly. And as you guys can see, there, it is making sand, yeah, it's pushing it in the end, so, uh, the end portal. So let's go ahead and turn that off and hop through, and hopefully my respawn point is at spawn, and we can go check and see how much sand we got. Yep, there we go. So just a few seconds that I was running that machine. We already have two stacks and a little extra. Like I said, that machine will produce about 4,500 drops per hour. So that thing is super insane. Um, anyways, this uh, another thing that I was doing over here. Uh, I did this a few days ago since I built my ship. And I still haven't built the flag. I need to build the flag up there. So I figure I could do that real quick, but I want to show you guys, um, I finally got myself a little pet, and I put him on the ship, and I'm going to show you guys. So he's actually in the captain's quarters, if we go in here, if I can deal with this lag, and there he is, <laughs> there's a little parrot, and he's sitting in the desk, and I named him Professor Pete, I don't know if that's like a, uh, a reference to anything I don't know why I thought of the name it might be a reference off of a movie or a TV show I don't know I just decided to name him that because I thought it would be pretty cool and then of course we have a jukebox behind him so I actually don't have the music pack every time I've tried to download it it starts creating a bunch of issues for me so let's just go ahead and grab this and actually I wanted to toss an end chest um, in the captain's quarters anyways right here in this empty spot so let's go ahead and toss that there and i might as well go ahead and grab an extra one out of my in chest or my essentials chest and there we go and then i can toss this back away all right so let's get this music disc and there's actually a cool uh a really funny bug on Bedrock Audition with parrots. Their dance animation is super, super fast. It's not supposed to be this fast. <laughs> it looks so funny. That is crazy. Um, let me go ahead and turn my audio volume up. My music volume is all the way down. I don't think I can hear this playing, actually. Let's go to audio. Actually, music volume is all the way up. But yeah, I can't hear any music playing out of this, which is weird. Uh, like I said, I've tried downloading the music pack that's on the marketplace, and it just won't work for my device for some reason. But anyways, um, now that that is done, we'll be moving on to some other projects. So let's go ahead and head over there. Alright, so I'm over here at the Nether Hub because I'm planning on doing a bunch of work over here. I got most of it designed out over on my redstone testing world. That's where I do all of my buildings and stuff before I actually build it here on the realm. But we're going to be doing a, uh, a lot of work over here. The plan is going to be to have like a staircase, a circular staircase that starts right here and winds its way all the way around and ends up coming out probably over here somewhere. And then another one that starts here... And then there's going to be another one that starts here and another one that starts over on this side as well. So there's going to be four staircases that go all the way up to a second layer. And the second layer is going to be the start of the dome. And then there's going to be a massive dome directly above this. There's going to be a chandelier that comes down in the center. And over on the second level, that's going to be player portals and stuff like that. So we'll have a bunch of different various portals to players bases and everything that goes that's at the top basically we'll have portals all across the world and tunnels that lead to them but um let me go ahead and start working on that and i'll show you guys the progress as i go along it's going to be a lot of work to do that and 
there's also something else that's that we have planned here on the realm for saturday we're going to be doing a mining competition down over at the perimeter so what we're going to do is we're going to get a bunch of people together we're going to go down over there and i'm going to give them pickaxes and mark out areas for them to mine whoever mines the most block blocks within an hour will get a prize and there's going to be first and second place prizes so the first prize uh, well, first of all, there's going to be um, in basically a participation gift. And each player that participates is going to get one diamond block to start out. And then first place is going to get three diamond blocks on top of that one. So four diamond blocks and a beacon with a full emerald base. And that's going to be the first place prize. And then the second place prize is going to be uh, just... I think it's going to be like two two diamond blocks for second place and I think that's going to be like a, a huge incentive for people to go over there and help mining it's going to get a lot of work and stuff done over there but also they are going to be able to keep the resources that they mine so that's also super awesome I am back and as you guys can see I have been really really busy um, I've been doing a lot of stuff over here at the, uh, the Nether Hub, as I said. But here we go. I mean, it is starting to come together. It is looking fantastic. Um, a lot of the other guys on the realm were talking about how lo how much they like it, and they're just really excited to see that how like the Nether Hub and everything is coming together. Finally, it's looking super awesome, and they can't wait to see it when it's like finally finished and stuff so over here we have a portal that i built over to the theme park area to burt's pvp arena which is the only mini game that's built so far and also today is the day of the mining competition we did the mining competition and everything we had a lot of fun over there working together and before i get into the end results i want to give a a huge welcome to diego who recently joined the realm a few days ago he was over at the perimeter helping us mine and and joined in on the mining competition as well and now we're getting to the final results so jacob uh congratulations you got first place and uh solus got second place so, J so jacob got the emerald beacon like full emerald beacon in base and three diamond blocks and solus got three diamond blocks and then diego got two uh, well, actually, he got one, and then everyone else, they also got a diamond block for participating over there, and it was a lot of fun, like, we had a blast just mining everything, and, uh, anyways, now there's not really much else to talk about for this episode, so I'm gonna end it here, there's still a lot of stuff that we have to do, um, over here. And I have to get the villager breeder and everything up and running and also build a tunnel over to here so that I can transport villagers over to the perimeter because I'm building an iron farm over there. And well, yeah, we just have a lot of stuff to do. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.